sandy part of the Dhaka are the most uh, difficult ones, especially the dunes. I mean, you can have sandy roads, that's, that's fun, because it's more smooth and nice and flowing. And then you can have the dunes, and, and the dunes are sometimes very, very tricky and um, difficult to drive. Every dune can only be stacked up at a certain angle, uh, basically depending on the friction of the particles. But in high places like Fiambala, because it's so dry and the altitude is so high, the sand ends up getting more abrasive. So they're very steep dunes. So basically the, the hardest thing is when you're going from one dune to another, you have very sharp steps. So you're coming down at say 30 degrees and you're going into a 38 degree bank. You end up having a cute angle that the car just basically smashes its nose into the dune. And uh, if you're going just a little bit too quick, the car could easily flip over. Um, when you have a little tuft of grass in the, in the dunes, the roots basically uh, cement the sand together. So it looks like it's soft, but as soon as you hit that, it's like hitting a massive rock. So the cars take pounding there. They call them camel grass. And I mean, when you have those little tufts, it could carry on for a couple of hundred k's. So the cars are like working really hard. It's difficult to find the way in the dunes. Especially when you are one of the first cars, it's, it's extra hard because you never know what's behind. So you have to find your way and then you, you need a certain speed to overcome a dune. But if you're too fast, you cannot react on the other side if there's a big hole or whatever. And if you make it nicely through the dunes, you can win a lot of time. But it's easy to, to lose a whole race in the dunes. A little sand doesn't bug me. I'll be with you now, just hang on, okay? No, seriously, just two seconds.